Do you regard black magic as being purely fictitious, or is there some truth in it? Some truth? 100% truth. There is nothing fictitious about black magic, in any way whatever. It is a fact. It is a fact uh, which has existed for several thousand years. I mean, when we talk about black magic, we are talking about Satanism, necromancy, alchemy, witchcraft, the worship of uh, Satan. Okay, so over the f past few years, we've discussed many different topics on this channel. But there's been one particular series that has uh, really got people's attention. And one particular series that I get the most questions about, and that is my video on the Black Cube. Which, of course, ties into the idea that we live in a simulated reality or a hologram. Uh, I've also spoken about the interdimensional beings that exist in this universe. Particularly the reptilian species and this uh, idea of reptilians or lizard people. Well, snake people has uh, been in circulation in the truth community for quite some time now way before I was in it I've seen videos from Barry King in the early 90s talking about reptilian so This information that I've been dealing with is nothing new I've just been looking at new avenues to explore because I feel like it's necessary and we've been going over the same shit for a long time with reptilians We're not really ever seem to get anywhere Now from my understanding most people got their introduction to reptilians from david ike typically when i ask people you know how did you first hear about them or usually goes back to ike and um i'm not going to be talking about ike in this video however what i will do is just leave this little piece of information here on the screen you know how i give it up with the dates and stuff so yeah i'll leave this little bit of information here you can make up your mind and maybe we can talk about ike at a later date but just not today because i already have enough to get through today so i've previously alluded to the fact that it is these interdimensional beings that are responsible for our enslavement some people call these the reptiles some people call these the archons some people call these the jinn some people call these demons there's a bunch of different titles they've got and a lot can be said about this in fact because those particular beings that we were talking about there they created us and i know this seems a little off but yeah reptilians essentially we are a byproduct of their experimentation okay and they're masters of DNA, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But it's also why we have the R complex in the brain, which is also called the lizard or literally the reptilian brain. And it was proven by a neuroscientist Paul McLean when he was modeling his triune model of the brain that out of our, out of our limbic system, neocortex and uh, our reptilian brain, the R complex is in fact the oldest part, which makes perfect sense because as I've said in many videos before, reptilians predate humanity by quite some time. And like I've also mentioned, uh, reptilians have been seeding this planet for a very long time. And I went over this in my video on 77 with the dinosaurs and whatnot. So that has been going on for millions and millions of years. And from my research, they are the most, if not one of the most intelligent races out there. And like I said, we are a byproduct of their genetic experimentation, their genetic ma manipulation and their scientific experiments. Uh, they are the true creators of us, which is why they know how to control us so well and keep us in that reptilian brain. And they also hide our true nature from us. And due to this fact, they know how to keep us perpetually looping. Or, you know, they know how to keep us reincarnating, as what people might call it. Because that's what's happening here. They're recycling our souls on the astral plane and we're getting sent straight back down. They're keeping us in their plan net, right? That's why we've got plan net Earth. Planet, planet, nets are used to catch things, right? Well, what do you think they're catching? We've spoke about this a lot. You know, and when you start to decipher and tumble these words down, you start to find all the answers you need, and that's something I'm going to show you in this video. Now, I say all of this to say that these beings I'm talking about are the ones responsible for the simulation, and in this video, I'm going to try and flesh out how how reality has been hijacked via the use of our language. And again, I've touched on some of the aspects of our language before, but today we're really going to deep dive into this because we live in essentially one huge operating system. It's one big matrix and language is sort of like the soft program that keeps it all running smoothly. So it's definitely something we need to get into and I think it's about time. Okay, so first things first, I think we need to look at this quote here because it's very apt for the discussion at hand by Philip K. Dick. The basic tool for manipulation of reality is the manipulation of words. If you control the meaning of words, you can control the people who must use the words. Now essentially what Philip means here is that the manipulation of reality is anchored by the manipulation of words. 
king's first words some to 79 and serpent some to 97 okay now why do these words match well what you guys need to realize is that every letter in our alphabet is simply a glyph and it has been drawn or designed in a specific way to invoke certain energies and before i move on to break down the link between words and the serpents or the nagas or the reptilians i wanted to get into something else that we are going to have to address now i'm sure you've all heard people say that you can speak things into existence or that our thoughts are things well principles like this are grounded on the idea of a holographic or a simulated reality and because of this in the most literal sense that i could mean words are worlds and i'll say that again okay words are worlds what is the first line of genesis in the beginning was the word and there is a reason that world and word are so similar in spelling and the only difference is the l and when you see that l in the english language it represents a lock and when you see the l and the o it represents the squaring of the circle l also is l of course el the, the title that we know for the god that they like to worship which we've been over before l means lord so the lord locks the world into place through words okay and that is why you add the l into word to get the world because l locks it into place and remember we are the real lords so we are the lords locking our worlds into place through words now when we talk about syntax in the english language um if we're going to say that somebody went to the shop for example then we would say that a man went to the shop or the man went to the shop um, a and the are probably the most common predicates used when talking about any given generalized subject in fact i would go as far out to say that they're the most two commonly spoken words in the english language namely a and the the root word for the is theos which literally means god so when we say the word we can translate this to god word so it's no accident that the word the is the most common word used in the english language given that it is direct relation back to theos or god not only that but it is used to start a sentence or start an invocation remember because words are wells and we'll get back to that later okay so let's look at a a a how many times do we also a in a day if you're speaking the english language innumerable times okay a man went to the shop a is the correct way to start most sentences and will always sit prior to a subject a also starts the alphabet which is actually called the alpha beta and i will tell you why that is shortly now think back to the times you've written the letter a did you know that it is also the alchemical glyph for all four elements they're all based on this same a shape as you can see here all derived from the triangle not only that but a is simply a pyramid with the capstone it's their symbol it's the eye of providence which coincides with the air glyph and remember who i told you who the prince of air is all of this is connected the a it begins the language it begins the spell because it's the pyramid with a the capstone they're letting you know right away who's running the language what you need to do is look at that first letter the eye of providence a like alpha like alpha draconis alpha mal think of every connotation to the word alpha and then think back to these beings that i've been talking about because they're literally the definition of what it means to be alpha so it's not just a letter okay it's a glyph it's a symbol it's a signature of the architects also no architects begins with a and i mentioned earlier that alphabet is short for alpha beta which of course would be a b alpha beta charlie well a b means father in hebrew and given that the beings that design this language are essentially our fathers that seems to make a lot of sense to me and when you think about it if we were using logic the alphabet should be called the alpha z or alpha z or something along those lines because should because the title should encapsulate the start to the finish a to z rather we've decided to call it the alphabet so they've only chose to highlight the a and the b okay why have they chose b we know why they chose a i just told you why because it's the pyramid it's their signature their signature glyph but why b well i'll tell you pull the b apart is simply a 13 it's a one and a three yeah so literally the first two letters of the english alphabet 
are a pyramid with a capstone and a 13. And remember the dollar bill, the pyramid on there has 13 layers and there's also 13 bloodline connecting families. I've spoke about 13 for so long now. So AB is really pyramid and 13 and that's what's starting off the alphabet. It's just a little head nod to let those that are in tune with the um, subconscious language that they talk in. It's a little head nod to those to let them know who's really in charge, okay? Remember, AB means father in Hebrew. Who is the real father or the real Ab, yeah? And the real Ab is the, the ones that design this. Dragons and serpents are some of the oldest and most widespread mythological symbols. They have been associated with some of the oldest rituals known to humankind and represent the dual expression of good and evil. In order to grasp the role of dragons, which through occult means is interwoven into our culture, we need to delve deeper into the hidden meanings and symbolism of the dragon, which is not only found in symbolic representations, but also in our language in a literal, allegorical, phonetic and philological context. Through an examination of many symbols and languages across the world, it has become abundantly clear that in order to know the truth about the nature of our reality, it is essential to chase down dragon mythology, symbolism and language. To paraphrase the Oxford English Dictionary, language is a method of communication either written or spoken, consisting of words in an agreed way extending to a community or country. This definition likewise extends to that of symbolism, which is defined as a mark or character taken as the conventional or occult sign of a being, object, idea, function or process. Symbols are not just pictorial motifs, they are also encoded into our language to denote symbolic equivalence, particularly through the mode and application of synonyms as a symbolic indicator. The purpose of a sign, symbol, or synonym is to substitute the object with a symbolic counterpart. Adoption and use of symbols is universal to all cultures and are primarily used as a mechanism of subterfuge in order to hide the truth about the existence of dragons, which is the very root of our culture. In order to grasp the full extent of the multi-layered symbolism, it is important to cross-reference these symbols with some of the etymological roots of our language, not only in the words, but in the very structure of our language through grammar and syntax. This is such a vast expanse of information that it is difficult to go at it in a linear fashion, starting at the beginning and finishing in some all-defining end. So where does one begin? I guess we begin at the beginning. And I've spoken before about the universality of dragon mythology and how snakes are seen as primordial beings in multiple different cultures. The snake was already in the garden before Eve, remember? And all of these stories are hinting at the fact that we were not the first ones here. I mean, what does it say at the beginning of Genesis? In the beginning was the word. Yeah, I find it no surprise that Genesis, dragons and archons all have the exact same gematria, given that they're all talking about essentially the same thing. I mentioned in the beginning that these beings are masters of DNA, which is why the medical symbol is also two snakes representing our DNA. Now a lot of people recognise this as the caduceus, and we've spoken about this before because it represents the rising of the kundalini up the spine. Now, remember I mentioned that words and snake both sum to 79? Well this is because words manifest light, remember? Words are worlds. The light is represented by the serpent, or the serpent energy, and that's also symbolic of our kundalini. And why is this important? Well, this is important because they're controlling all of our kundalinis through the language. Okay, tones, vibrations, frequencies are so important when it comes to our spiritual nature. Um, we are really using one of the most debased languages that you could possibly think of. It's empty as shit and full of sly tricks and hidden messages to keep us in a sort of light code lockdown. Um, you know, guys, remember the Vitruvian Man, right? We've spoke about this before. Well, notice the Vitruvian Man is us, okay? The Vitruvian man is us over a five-pointed star. So this is represent this is a representation of our fire-based body, okay? Fire's in PHI. 
a fire-based body is what is our star vehicle, which is why this image is drawn our body over the five-pointed star. And the five-pointed star is the pentagram, okay? Uh, it's another reason why these Hollywood Satanists like flipping these stars, because it's about inverting the true nature of our star vehicle. Um, because that's all our body is, it's simply a house to our soul. And they know this, and that's what this image is about. So they flip this, and it's symbolic of them flipping the energies of our body. Now, these occult devil worshipping motherfuckers know that creation comes through fire. Okay, it comes through the fire. I mean, you can see that all in nature. It's evidently clear. F fire manifests in nature so organically, so uh, naturally, that you really can see that it's the code behind the creation. Like I said, fire is five, okay? So look at your hands right now. You've got five fingers on each hand. We create everything in this world with our hands. When we grab and we mold things, we speak things into existence and then we change things with our hands. Everyone knows we can't, what would we do without our hands? We'd be fucked, mate, yeah? So the hands and the five fingers is just another ode to fire because fire creates, the five creates. Humans create, which is why our star body is on a five-pointed star. And people also know fire as the spiral, and I won't get too deep into this here because it's not about this video, but you guys obviously know the pedo swirl that came out and all the Pizzagate stuff, and this is just, again, an ode to the inversion of fire because that spiral represents the anus and all the anal rape that they be doing to all these poor little kids and everyone that runs up in the music industry. Like, you really, like, they be running in your shit before you ever get anywhere in the music industry. Like, you're going through rituals to crack your base shot base chakra wide open so they can let the, the whatever energies whatever demons whatever archons whatever whatever they want it's going to be going straight into your base chakra and that's who you're going to be channeling throughout your music career and that that's that's another reason that you see so much homosexual shit in hollywood like it's just wild and it's all to do with this and that's the key of david and there's late there's obviously multiple different interpretations to this some of these um some of these words and some of these myths but i personally think that you know the seal of, the seal of solomon the key of david all of that shit half of that is just talking about some weird ass raping shit i'm being serious like it's about breaking the cha crown chakra and controlling the person through sending their kundalini up their spine without them wanting it to go up there man yeah because that sends most people insane natural kundalini awakening processes are not supposed to be activated instantly through rape and trauma okay i've told you this before when they do this to these children, it's pure trauma. It's not supposed to happen like that. Go from this normal person living in a three-dimensional reality, boom, you have your crown chakra opened, and now you're this, yeah, you're, you're operating at 100%. You can see, you can see every dimension. You're seeing entities you've never seen, but you think you're going crazy. Like the amount of people in mental hospitals that might have just had boom crown chakra openings and were just left in mental hospitals because no one actually understood what they were going through. I can guarantee that's happened before, especially with people that have been taking psychedelics. That's why I'd be telling people, don't be fucking around with all these psychedelics, you know, because you're going to fuck around and take some ayahuasca, bust that crown chakra open and you're never going to be coming back because you weren't ready for it. Like, th this world is not designed for everyone to just wake up at the drop of a hat. It doesn't work like that. You just, it just doesn't work like that, okay? So just remember that. And, uh, but this was also why uh, Epstein had the huge, the two huge giant pedo swirls on his island, you know? But uh, I digress, I digress. Let's get back to the point at hand. Um, so we call celebrities stars, right? Well, we call celebrities, we are all stars, but we call them stars because they know how to tap into their fiber. Well, I say they know how to, they don't know how to. The Kabbalists that are working behind closed doors know how to tap into the fire-based body of the celebrity, but we call them stars because they're tapping into their star power. They might have no fucking idea what's going on, but the master Kabbalists and the master magicians that are working behind the scene, they definitely know what's going on. We all have a star-based fire body, okay? And it's just those who are called celebrities who've had their star power hijacked by these particular magis in the industry, okay? Now, we all have star power, and we're not getting our star power hijacked, right? Now, when I show you that pentagram and kundalini are a three-way match, that should make sense to you now, because they are using the kundalini, which is the snake, to manipulate our fire-based body, which is represented by the pentagram. Okay, the walk of fame, remember I told you about the stars trapped in the black cubes, that represents the soul in the cube. When you put the, the, when you put the star in the circle, it's 72 divided by 5, which makes 360, which is our soul. So this is the soul, this is the soul's division. 
this is what you're seeing here 72 times 5 is 360 which gives us our circle and this is the real magic of hollywood okay and we're why you always see the pentagram on the floor in all the movies, all the predictive iconography? Like it used to be in all ASAP Rocky's videos, like Black Magic, all oh, pentagram on the floor of a circle. Like this is what it's all about. It's about dividing our star body up and taking our power. And just to wrap it up, Fire and The are also a three way match. So, you know, I mean, that just pretty much says it all. Now we've touched on that information about the pentagram and our fire based bodies, let's dig a little deeper. Uh, what do we write with, guys? Remember, we're talking about language here. What do we write our language with? A pen. Yeah, a pen. Like a pentagram. We write with a pen. Okay? Now, a lot of this stuff I've already told you before, but not within the scope of this video. So, I'm going to go over it again and add some new information. Okay, so we write. When we write on paper, we're writing. But there's two types of writing. There's writing with pen, and then there's a writing as in the when you're performing a ritual where you see pentagrams used. Okay, so... You're using a pen to write, but you're also writing using a pen or pentagram. Can you can you see that? Yeah. We spell words like casting a spell. We spell, yeah. We spell words. Spell is magic. We use grammar, which comes from uh, the French word grimoire, which literally means a book of spells. In schools, we get taught to write in cursive because it's a curse on us. Also mentioned that thesaurus simply means a lizard book. Okay, so there's a lot of hints in our language that sort of points to something rather nefarious going on, okay? And I think it's also important to mention that the word writer and Saturn are a three-way match. And I mean, how perfect is that, given that we're all living under a script that's been written under an archetype of Saturn? I mean, fuck me, that is literally perfect. I also forgot to mention earlier that the word open um, is the womb and the pentagram. So open, look at that word. Now look at the sigil they used, the O with a pentagram in the middle. The word open means to open doors to let something in, okay? So like I said, this is a symbol you'll see everywhere. Black Magic 101, pentagram in a circle used to summon demons or open gates. I just find it interesting that the word open literally contains that which is used to open gates in Black Magic, namely the O and the pen.